February 21, and we're going to show how the mighty have fallen. <clears throat> Next episode. Look at this. What a bum. Stop. I'm a hard worker right now. She's making sure Diego does a good job over here. Yes. She takes the effort She's to lift her head good. once in a while. I'm making sure the shed doesn't fly away. <laughs> Alright guys, after I made fun of Nia over there and Diego's working on the shed, I gotta get to work. I'm getting a late start too, but I went to um, where half of my family work and got some shelves at Sam's Club. We're going to put those in here and start getting things a little bit more organized. My tools are falling all over the place and I just don't know what I have and can't get to it. Brought some water today. I'm going to water the trees. And I have some makeshift shelving, and I bought these at Home Depot for super cheap. And I think I'm going to make me a small-time little worm farm with them experimenting and see if I can get that going. I have a few things going today, um, but easy things. Because I took yesterday off after cutting trees and stuff. It was a lot of pretty hard on me and a lot of work, so I needed a couple days rest. So... Back out here and ready to get something done. that wasn't too bad restaurant owner for over 15 years maybe 16 17 so I've put a few of these kind of racks together in my time uh, this one was a pretty simple one pretty basic and it's a it's a good size for us it's not too tall I'll be able to put stuff up on the top rack and I made the bottom a little bit bigger I'll put the heavier stuff down there and it gives you an option to put coasters like rollers or you can put feet in the beginning. I just want, I was thinking I was going to put feet until I started. And I thought, you know what? What if I have stuff on here and I just want to move it around to the back wall? Or I want to rearrange in here. Um, it makes it less stable, I feel like. But at the same time, it's got little lock-in coasters there I put on the front. And uh, I'll be able to move it if I need to. We'll, uh, we'll see if that works out. If not... I guess one day I could take everything off and put the solid feet on if I wanted. But keeping that bottom shelf pretty low gives it good stability. So I'm going to put the second one together and then start organizing. So I, I'm actually pretty excited about it so I can come in here and find my stuff easier. All right, guys, I got the other ones done now. I don't know if this is going to create room in here or not. I know it's going to make me more organized. I'm able to find my tools really easy. That's exciting. <laughs> But I don't know that it's going to help make room in here. It actually might make it more difficult. We'll find out. <laughs> I'm going to start organizing stuff right now. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm excited. All right, guys. I don't know that this made it any more room. But it made it more organized so I can see my stuff. And that is worth it. So I got all kind of like my tools and general areas, what goes together hung my made a makeshift hanger for my cords that I had playing around some of the stuff I'm never gonna well I'm gonna use it but just gonna be a while wood chipper pressure washer and this is stuff we still got to go through so um, yeah we'll, we'll figure it out but got a lot cleaned up all this 
boxes and stuff in the back of my truck or stuff I'm going to go dump that I was able to clean out so I can see what I have. That's pretty exciting. Looks pretty good. Okay guys, I wrapped it up over there with the shed for now. And I'm over here in the nursery area. There's Nia and Diego's working on their shed still. They're going to take off pretty soon. I was looking at buying a watering pot thing for watering these because I didn't want to hold a five gallon bucket and just pour it on everything, which that might be end up being the best solution. But I'm going to try using this and see how that works. I filled it up with water. I'm just going to spray the tops of everything. See how that works. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to try it. Alright, I'm not feeling that. <laughs> it's going to take way too long. Um, I'm just going to pour out of the five gallon bucket and do my best that way because they need water pretty bad anyway. And I think this application would work on maybe if I just had seed starting or something and I needed to mist soil and not soak it. So I'm going to keep it in mind. I think it'll work for some things, but it's just not going to work for this. It'll take too long. Oh, and I also reorganized my trees a little bit so I can get into everything a little better to water it. Was way faster and easier and better hard on the back bending over and holding that but it works pretty good hey guys so i'm working on this worm composter thing and i think i showed you guys that i got a really killer deal on these at home depot they were on sale you get a set of five and it was less than three bucks it was like 250 something and I thought this can be something I can practice on and start learning and I won't be overwhelmed having to build some big thing. Um, I've seen some guys on YouTube and uh, watching videos and stuff. People are coming using totes or buckets, uh, things like that. And it works and it's great and it's a cheap solution. But I don't like, I, I already can picture myself not liking having to do things that slide inside of each other. I don't want to have to pick up buckets out of each other where they're creating suction or the totes or whatever. So I'm thinking this thing out as I go. Um, just thinking in small terms and trying to figure something out. If this works in one of the small terms, I got two sets of five. I could do two little sets of worm composters. Um, so far, one of the things I did in researching was that the worms don't like light. They're dark. Their skin doesn't like the light. So I took some black spray paint and I sprayed these on just the outside. Um, nothing pretty, nothing great, but just so that pretty much light doesn't get in there and it keeps it nice and dark. And the paint's on the outside, so it's not going to be toxic to them on the inside. Um, I mean, I'm, they're in plastic, I guess it's never going to be perfect, right? But I'm just kind of thinking out loud and thinking of some ideas right now to figure this out. So, I'll take you along for this little journey right now. <laughs> All right, so far I've come up with to catch the juice, which there should be some. This might not be necessary. The videos I watched, they said there's very little that comes out, but if there is some, you can use that as a concentrate to mix with water and spray on your plant so that's cool so i just put four little uh things of wood here to catch this and keep it up off the bottom so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to drill holes in the bottom of one of these uh, plastic guys so that it can drain out the bottom i'm showing you for examples with that so you can see it better i'm using these that i've painted with a spray can all right, my next little step is that I took this first one and drilled a bunch of, I don't know how well you can see, there we go, a bunch of holes so it can drain. And I put 
two holes at each corner so that there can be some air circulation going in there. I ordered some cheesecloth for this thinking that would be a good breathable thing, but it hadn't come in yet and I really wanted to do this today and Val says, oh, here's uh, some material she didn't want anyway. I didn't even have any scissors, so I just ripped it by hand. But that's it's pretty thin, so stuff should be able to drain through eventually if there's going to be any. I kind of doubt there's going to be much. <clears throat> but that'll keep the worms also from getting out of the bottom. So it'll look like that, and I'll put some soil in there with the worms. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'll do the same thing with these two as far as the holes in the bottom. And I think I'm going to have to put a hole. I'm not even going to paint these because they're blue. So I guess that, I mean, that should be dark enough. <clears throat> and then put holes in these and then they'll stack on top of each other. That's why, you know, the expensive worm composter farm things that I see on Amazon and such. They, what I like about them is they're not inside of each other. They're all stacked and you just pull one out and put on and dump that one and then move them all down and put that other one on top. And that's kind of like what I'm doing here. Um, I don't want stuff that's sliding inside of each other. So I'm going to try to build it something like that. And if this works, this is probably going to be one of the cheapest little worm farms you've ever seen. Okay, I'm using two different size drill bits as well. I'm using the bigger ones through the top so they can get up through there easier without having a problem. And the ventilation and the place for the juice to fall through is going to be more holes but smaller um, so they're less likely to find their way out. Like I said I'm thinking this through as I go. I'm going to go ahead and take this lid and put it on top and drill my holes into the bottom of this so they actually line up. I feel like uh, if they don't line up, they're not going to be able to go straight through. Getting a little bit smarter each time I'm doing this. Now I'm going to do this, uh, you know, all at once. Um, I decided that I'm just going to do the big bit for everything that's where they'll be traveling through and I'll only use a little bit for the um, circulation area for the air to kind of go through. There we go, so that's going to be like that. Oh, oops. That might have not been a good idea. That broke. Let's see what we're going to do about that. All right, because I'm not being fancy, a little bit of duct kit tape. I uh, think we'll just hold that. They'll just have to come through this end. <laughs> They'll probably squeeze through here too. Right, the place that I see that the worms can get out, if they're going to get out, is going to be, just because this is sitting so loose, if they come out this hole, they could squeeze out and around. So what I'm going to do is I have some of this silicone just sitting around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal each one of these to the lid. So this will be one piece like this instead of lid on top it'll be on the bottom this is so cool to be doing this because i know that if it doesn't work out it basically only cost me about three bucks for all this and if it does work out it's a cool little again a cool little composter you know eventually when we have homestead and everything going full force i'll just i'll have something big but for now this is kind of a fun introduction and something maybe if you can make it look clean and nice it's something you could be doing in your house all right guys i'm a little bit sad and frustrated um i was putting putting this ceiling in and it said uh that i need to wait 24 hours for that to dry so i was like yeah that stinks as i was kind of excited to do the composting thing get it all together i had my cabbage leaves i had some stuff from home there to throw in and I walked over here to the worm thing and decided to start going through that so I could get it wet and I I lifted up the cabbage leaves and underneath it was just a lot of ants and so I started to peel through the bucket and all the worms were there was two groups of worms clumped together and they were all dead uh, I didn't have anything alive going on there uh, there's a lot of ants 
don't know if you can see them or not. So I googled to see if ants kill worms and not really getting a clear answer there. Doesn't appear that they do. Um, like I said, the first day that I had those in there, the first day I came back and looked, there was a lot of ants. So I put it up on this bucket so that it would be up off the ground. And then the next day I came and <clears throat> looked, I didn't see any ants. Then when I added the cabbage, I guess that attracted the ants. Um, I don't know if they died because <clears throat> they didn't have enough water. I put a little bit of water in there the first day I got them or put them in there. But I didn't put a I didn't put a lot of water, and it's been a couple days, so they might have died from no water. I don't know. So that puts the whole worm thing on hold, and that was a wasted like thirty something dollars on worms. So I went ahead and ordered just a cheap batch, just a hundred, and do a <clears throat> small little mount, see if I can get it to work. Um, they won't be coming. <coughs> Excuse me. A little something in my throat. It won't be coming until Monday, so I guess I'll be putting that off till Monday. All right, guys. Uh, I did a little research on the worm situation. I need to look at my peat moss. If it has any chemicals or fertilizers or something in it, it could be bad for them. Um, I bought some of that cocoa air or cocoa care core core something. Um, so I'll be real gingerly with them when I start the next time. Uh, I also bought, besides the worms and the cocoa cor or whatever it's called, I also bought a pH tester and moisture tester to make sure that my soil is not too um, alkaline or acidic, whatever, uh, for the worms. And um, I'll have to do my research at what, <coughs> what pH balance they're supposed to be at for those worms. And I'll be able to monitor it better, and uh, and I think that pH tester is going to be necessary anyway, um, with us growing these fruit trees and just our land and our soil. We'll be testing stuff all the time. Okay, on my way out, I have this pile, so I thought I'd come over here, and it does say the ingredients are just peat moss, Spag sphagnum peat moss. That's it, and it's organic soil conditioner. So. Um, I think that this is safe for me to use. <clears throat> I read, I read the ingredients there, or the, yeah, it actually says ingredients. Um, everything that's in there, it just seems like it's very basic, just peat moss. And so that shouldn't cause a problem for the worms. It's a soil, uh, aerator and all that stuff, which is perfect. Makes it easy for the worms to, uh, crawl through and move around. So I think that's going to be good stuff.